question number 10. We got five parts here. Um, it says the following data represent exam scores in a statistics class taught by a traditional lecture um, using a flipped classroom. We're going to complete parts A through C. So we got two classes, one traditional, one flipped. All right, which class has more dispersion in exam scores? Um, using the range as the measure of dispersion. So I'm looking at these exam scores. The smallest score I see is 50. The smallest score I see from the traditional is 55.7. I don't think there's anything smaller than 55.7. Um, and then the largest score, 85.8. Okay, so using the range, 85.8, take away 55.7, get 30.1 as the range measure spread. Um, in the flipped, the highest score looks to be 91.1. We're going to take away the smallest value which 64.3 get 26 so <clears throat> traditional class has a bigger range the traditional has a range of 30.1 lift has a range of 26.8 um, the blank course has more dispersion the traditional course has more dispersion and more spread out there. Which course has more dispersion in exam scores using sample standard deviation as a measure? So I'm going to use the Excel this time just because it auto populates and I don't have to do the data entry. So I'm going to come here below. <clears throat> I'm going to go to formulas. We're going to go to more functions statistical. I'm going to scroll all the way down to the S's and we want the sample. Standard deviation S is a sample. So I'm going to click and drag and say I want to use all these numbers and then I'm just going to click and drag this bottom corner. It will just copy the formula so it's going to do the standard deviation of this for me. As you can see, S standard deviation S from B2 to B14. So this is column B starting at row 2 going down to 14. So you can just drag and it does it both for you. <clears throat> so since these data points have one decimal place, normally you want to go to 2. Um, down here they say go to 3. So we're going to go 3 decimal places. The traditional had standard deviation of 8. 8.891 the flipped had a standard deviation of 7.42 and that zero will round up so 7.421 all right and then the blank has more dispersion again it's going to be the traditional because it has a bigger standard deviation. It kind of follows the same as the range. Um, we're going to suppose the score of 59.9 .9 in the traditional course was incorrectly recorded to 59,599. How does this affect the range? Um, so the range would now be 599 take away uh, the smallest of 55.7 and the range is now 543.3 the standard deviation is now so I'm going to record 599 in this cell right here and it will update the formula for you. So the standard deviation is now 146, 
Okay. And then what property does this illustrate? <clears throat> Neither range nor standard deviation is resistant. Um, the standard deviation is resistant, but the range is not. Both range and standard deviation are resistant. The range is resistant, but the standard deviation is not. Neither one of those measurements are resistant to an outlier. They both change very dramatically when we change the value. 